Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Martian Games. It's been a while since my last Bloons video, but I always say that, so at this point, it probably doesn't even matter anymore. This was one of the games from about three weeks ago. I actually filmed a Martian game, like, before this one, and it was half cash sent in clones. I got to around 66, but then for some reason I just didn't feel like making that video. So then when I filmed this, I was like, you know what, I may as well just combine them all into one. So around 56 to 80. Also, if you're curious, in that other run, for the half cash one, I died around 66, not because the balloon's OP, but because I was using Windows' built-in screen recorder, and it kind of bugged out, and it was like, I clicked out of the app, but I was still in it. I don't know how to explain it. Essentially, Windows thinks I'm not in that application, I'm on the screen recorder application. So then when I've, whenever I clicked, what happened was my mouse was always in the same spot, so I couldn't actually move it. So even if I did move it, I'd see that I move it, but the game remembers it as the spot I left it in. It's kind of hard to explain. I moved my mouse up to click the Moab so that I can pop to the EDTs, but... It just ended up clicking the Moab Assassin, and then, you know, Moab Assassin can't really pop DDTs because it'll always go for the ZOMGs and BFBs, so they ended up leaking. I don't think I raged, but I just thought of what happened. And this Martian games, I forget the modifiers, but it's not hard, half cash, but we do have basically double HP Moabs because it's more fortification. So all the bats are fortified, not all of them, but most of them. At first when I was playing this event, I didn't really think I was going to have any trouble because, you know, we get lots of Moab assassins, and Moab health probably doesn't make a difference, only speed does, because if the Moabs are slow, you have more time to just send out a trillion assassins. Although what ended up happening was the bad health was so high that it actually took to a lot of assassins, and I mean a lot, and at some point... We did have assassins on cooldown, and there was another bat in, but that was pretty rare. Usually I would have enough assassins up, and my fingers would get pretty tired of clicking. I also kind of ended up using both the trackpad and mouse to click, because apparently you can double click on trackpad, and it's really fast. Because the game is kind of laggy, some of the clicks didn't actually count, so I wasn't actually sending out as, mo as many Moab assassins as I wish I was. On top of that, I kind of just got tired of clicking, so on round 80, after beating it, I just decided, you know what, I'll just quit the game. I love how it's the middle of a thunderstorm when I'm filming a video. I still wonder if you heard it, but it was pretty loud. At that point, I had 2 hours of footage, and I think I spent 4 hours in total on the Martian games. Which doesn't make any sense because it felt like an eternity. Around was around 6 minutes at that point, which meant 6 minutes of just clicking C4 Charlies. And that's every single round. I originally thought I was going to be able to make it to around 100, but it turns out at around 75-ish, I did some math based on how long the rounds were taking, and they were slowly starting to increase. And then I noticed I wouldn't actually be able to finish by 8. 8 p.m., which is when the event would end. And I also died of boredom on round 78, so I thought, okay, I'll just grind to round 80 and then I'll just call it a day. Don't worry, I brought the bitrate up for this video. Although, even though the bitrate is pretty high, it's still not gonna look the best, because do you know how many C4 Charlies are on screen? And also because I'm speeding it up to around 8 times the speed. It's going to look even worse. And this video was apparently going to be 20 minutes long, so I just ended up cutting a bunch of the rounds down a lot. I did save, I think, the entire round of round 80, but you kind of get the point. Most of the rounds are basically the same. And there were some incidents where a rainbow balloon wouldn't get popped even after getting hit a bunch of times by C4 Charlies. Although a Moab does one-shot it, so I'm not, I don't think that rainbow balloons get more health. Because that would be weird. How does a rainbow balloon increase in health? I also was playing Martian games a lot. 
and I ended up getting a win rate of 5, but then there was an allies only. And you know, that's my one weakness, probably because I don't use allies that much. And I ended up losing by a few hours. It was fun while it lasted. Recently, while I was editing this video, there was another Send in Clones event with just camo. Although it wasn't that easy of a map, it was Flame Kitchen. So I didn't feel like playing because I didn't think I was going to make it to round 80. I think I probably might have been able to win. But I haven't been playing this game much recently. So that's why I didn't feel like playing the event. And then there was a second Sending Clones event right after that. Which makes me kind of sad because I wish I was playing the game. Because that would have been amazing. Sending Clones is like my favorite event. I'll leave it as a time lapse from here. So see you guys next time.